through the trials and tribulations, you never let us down, Jesus. I know you're here with us now, Jesus. I know you're still with us now. Keep it real with us now. I wanna feel, show me how, please. Let me take your hand, guide me. I walk slow, but stay right beside me. Um, hello. Uh, this is a response to uh, Dorpitan's um, Veritas 48. Um, we call it a challenge. Um, I am a Christian who believes that God is a uh, um, timeless, uh, non-spatial, immaterial mind. I agree with William Lane Craig's uh, conclusions uh, in his Kalam cosmological argument. Um, and your challenge is actually not a challenge at all. There is an immediate problem with your challenge, and that is that you presuppose that existence only entails the universe. Uh, first off, using a word like existence, there's no real definition on what that could mean. So it's, it's just a bad idea to even use that word. Um, if you mean universe, you should just say universe. Uh, however, it seems to me, from how the argument goes, uh, that you presuppose that existence entails just the universe. While on the Christian worldview, uh, we believe that there is an existence beyond the universe. So for a Christian to therefore claim that God is an immaterial mind, uh, they're not contradicting anything, uh, they're not causing an infinite regress, um, it does not make God temporal, uh, in fact quite the opposite. Um, so there's actually no real challenge or problem with the Christian worldview and what they claim about God. In order for your challenge to work, you would have to show with good reason that the existence uh, only entails uh, the universe. The Kalam cosmological argument, uh, the conclusion of it, is designed to show that there's something outside of the universe, that there's a transcendent cause, and uh, so unless you got yourself a good argument that shows otherwise, I don't know what to say. One last thing I want to point out, um, concerning God being an uncaused cause, the atheists used to say that the uh, universe is eternal and uncaused. Um, used to be no problem with that, at least on their side, uh, as far as they were concerned. So um, to say that God is uncaused cause, where's the issue? I, I, don't, I don't get it. Um, if the cause of the universe is spatial, um, made up of material and temporal, then it too, like the universe, uh, would be non-eternal, in which case it too would also have a cause. And if its cause has the same attributes, then it too would have a cause, and then you would actually have that infinite regress of causes. So no matter what you do, it has to eventually come down to there being an uncaused cause. So to claim that God is that, uh, I don't see the issue there.